Hello everybody, it's Lynn Telfer here. My students and I have decided to explore the potential of Minecraft Education Edition. We decided we would like to explore the human body. We worked out a few learning objectives here. One of them is that we need to identify the parts of the body and describe and display their purpose. We're going to collaborate, I love that word, collaborate to create a single human body with significant organs and the systems represented. So, with this in mind, we need to make a human body. Now, some of the things that I have written down that the kids may need to think about is how will we represent the functions of the body? So, the kids are going to have to come up with how that's going to be done. How will the body be positioned? And I must admit, for my group, I've kind of cheated. I'll come to that soon. And how do we ensure all the main organs fit in? <laughs> how do we use blocks, redstone and everything that's available to represent the functions of the body parts? And what organs are we going to choose to be represented in the body? How do we show that the organs are linked to each other? And how do we show what we've learned about the organs and systems within the game? <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this video and uh, have a go at it in your classroom and let me know how it goes. So let's start by looking at the use of ICT in our project. It can be done at any level that you like, but I could choose between 4 and 5 for mine. For example, Students use IC2 to support knowledge construction and the ICT is required for constructing this knowledge. That's a given. If I want my students to go further and produce some sort of product using Sway or PowerPoint or Mix, then I would say that they do create an ICT product for authentic users. So with that in mind, we can now use Microsoft Education Edition in so many ways. Here I'm building a spawn point. Now this spawn point is important because this allows me to make a place where kids can't build and stay in one place before I release them on the world. That's right, I am forcing these poor victims, I mean students, to do a lesson today. Now I have some helpers, I'm gonna call them the elites. That's Michael, hi Michael. And I've got Chelsea. Now they have been given world builder status, which means they could escape my evil, evil little uh, lair that I've got back there. Mm. The rest of them are all stuck. <laughs> Once they're released, they go crazy. Who's going to build what? What am I going to build? How am I going to build it? Who's going to help me? <laughs> Collaboration is key in this project. <laughs> so this is a good time to talk about collaboration. Now the kids have to do very high level collaboration here. So I'm going to put them at number five. Students do have shared responsibility and they do make substantive decisions together about the content, process or product of their work and their work is interdependent. They've got to make sure this whole thing works together. Okay guys, we are back and we are having a look at what's happened so far. A lot of collaboration has happened, which is great. And you can see that the information is being put in. You're amazing. Okay, so there's information being put in right now. And that is by Chelsea. I think I'm starting to see a heart pumping. I am seeing a heart. <laughs> so they're starting now to get the heart working. We have an eyeball, people. We have an eyeball. <laughs> With a pig. It's got a pig in its eye. Okay, the guys have been working hard on getting the trousers right. <laughs> yeah, look at that heart coming in now. That's really awesome. Let's look at the activity now in terms of knowledge construction. 
Now it's obvious this is presenting knowledge about the human body and the main organs. So I would put this down at level four. The learning activity's main requirement is knowledge construction and the learning activity does require students to apply their knowledge in a new context, i.e. putting it onto a body. But the learning activity does not have learning goals in more than one subject. Brody, what can this be? Like breathing? The heart pumping? Okay, so this could be the heart pumping, it could be um uh, what about the lungs? Breathing in and out? Is it slowed down? Brilliant! I think both. <laughs> I'm loving that. Look at that heart going. It's even sounding like a heart. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, and there's another heart there, so it's kind of cool that there's different designs happening. Loving it. <laughs> Look at that face. Now in this example, the learning activity is not long term, but imagine if it was. I would like to think that we could get right up to level four where the learning activity is long term and the students have the learning goals and associated success criteria to go with it. They will be able to plan their own work and revise their work on feedback, but for now it's level two. So let's talk about problem solving. Yes, the students do have to solve problems in terms of working out how they're going to present this work, but it's not a real world problem that they're trying to solve. So this I would put down as two. The learning activities main requirement is problem solving, but the problem is not a real world problem. So we've got a couple of options here. As you can see from the portfolio, we can export the images, which means the kids can now use those images in a couple of different ways. One, they could use them to talk about the human body itself and show what they've learned. They can also look at writing down the process involved and reviewing how they went in terms of being part of the team. So if that's the case, I would choose level three Students are required to produce an extended communication or multimodal communication and they are required to provide supporting evidence. They must explain their ideas and support a thesis or facts or examples. So here we have it, the human body, Fred. Now Fred was made in just a double lesson, which for us is an hour and a half. Imagine if you had far more time more time to put into the research and the design. It could be quite incredible. 